Hey guys, it's Fisolo Coffee, and today inside of this monster analysis video, we are going to be going over Elvira Demon Slayer and why you should get her out of her current breeding event. So let's go and get right into it. Alright, so Elvira Demon Slayer is going to be an attacker and a support. She can be either. And she is available right now, and she is very, very good. So definitely try to get her. So now let's go ahead and get into why she is good. So this is her design up here. She does look very cool. I do actually really like this design. And then we have her traits right here. She's got Celeste bulwark team blind immunity team a torture immunity and team evasion so of course her best traits are rank four and five and those are both incredible and then her other ones are pretty decent as well rank zero and one are pretty decent and rank three is kind of bad but if you can get her to rank four and five she will be very very amazing and her relics are sword and amulet which are both pretty good and then if we go on down to her pros and cons she's got a busted trait great damage output good relic slots access to both fire and light attacks she has good tortures and burning and repentance. She has two good zero cooldown moves, which is really great. So cooldown activation cannot hurt her. She also has support and self-sustain capabilities, including NER, which is incredible. Precision, hydrophobic shield, torture immunity, and evasion. And then she also has access to underworld dwellers hater and amazing stats. And her cons are low speed if used as a support. And yeah, that's her only con. And then we have her move right here. So we have a repentant self-evasion with 70 light damage with zero stamina cost which is very good she also has an aoe 40 fire damage with repentance and burn she has a underworld dwellers hater with 60 light damage which is okay then she has a 35 fire damage plus burn with zero cooldown which is really good she also has a ally ner with double damage with zero cooldown which is also really good and then she has a team ner with evasion which is really good so yeah pretty much all of her moves are incredible they're all very very powerful and she also has a team damage boost if you want to use that instead with precision and she has an ally any arrow team torture media which is also pretty decent and those would be used on her support moveset but i do think that her attack moveset is a little bit better so yeah i would probably run her as an attacker and of course go and try to get her to rank five if you can because her traits at rank four and five are just really really good and that just makes her a way better monster than she would be at rank three so yeah that's going to be it for elvira definitely go and try to get her she is very strong very powerful and try to rank her up if you can and i'll see you guys in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye